who wants to see real live wild type mollies? Well, here they are. A huge colony of them at the estuary. But these are not feral animals, these are actual wild type strains uh, native to Florida. Uh, it's a Poecilia letipina or a Thalefin molly. There's a lot of like uh, questions if you can keep them uh, in salt water, but here you guys are. This specific uh, mollies are in pure salt water. I have seen them in lakes as well, pure freshwater lakes. But they seem to be a lot uh, nicer looking in uh, in marine water. Like the ones you usually see in the lakes are kind of wimpy and skinnier and smaller in size. Uh, these mollies are really nice and fat and the coloration is really, really good. So I guess that answers the question. Uh, how to keep them best, whether you should keep them uh, pure freshwater or brackish. Um, I've always kept them uh, in freshwater when I had mollies. I don't know. But I suppose uh, some marine salt will probably do them good. Oh yeah, and there's always a party when uh, sheephead minnows arrive. That's uh, that other fish in there along with uh, mangrove gambusia and uh, checkered puffers. This is like a really neat uh, little estuary. Uh, it's called the Ankolp Center. And there is, a, there is a mangrove forest and this place, which is like, you can see how shallow this is. And of course, you know, as soon as I saw all these mollies, I was like, I'm gonna put my GoPro in and entice him with some shrimp. You know, the estuary is like really an amazing place. Besides uh, mollies and ship and buffers, they also have like uh, different types of gobies and they even have uh, pistol shrimp. There's actually quite a, quite a bit of pistol shrimp in here. I couldn't get them on camera, but if you, uh, if you walk through the park, you hear like non-stop clicking from uh, from the pistol shrimp. Because every time they get scared, they click with their uh, with their giant claw. And uh, so there's, there's three types of gobies as well: frail fin, uh, crested, and there's also uh, darter goby, which looks like a typical dart dart fish. Darter. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Yeah, um, it's tiny, and I think it does live with a uh, with a pistol shrimp in the same burrow. As for the mollies, um, I'm kind of like really tempted to uh, to get some and take them to Europe with me. I will be taking some fish when I go, uh, but I'm just doing it as a trial run, so I'm not gonna take uh, a lot. I'll probably just take some. Uh, uh, Gambusia species and uh, maybe some uh, maybe some crustaceans to go along. But you can see how like how colorful these mollies are. So much better than the ornamental strains I sell at pet stores. Especially the males. You can see all the yellowish and bluish tint to them and the giant uh, Sail fin, obviously. Oh yeah, and you know, you can see how clear the water is. Estuaries are amazing. You know, last year they spotted um, an eagle ray that went into estuary, I guess, looking for food, and uh, he spent uh, two days in there then moved on, I guess, went back into the ocean. I mean, if you didn't know, uh, Florida has, um, if you like live bearing fish, Florida has like five live bearers. They have obviously mollies, they have um, eastern gambusia, mangrove gambusia, least killifish, which is also a live bearer in the Poecilia family. And there's also Pike Light Bear, which is probably the biggest um, and most aggressive and predatory uh, 
life bearer in Poesilid group. Ah, uh, yeah, and um, the shrimp attracted a lot of puffers. I'm gonna do a separate video on puffers. There's a lot of them in there. And it's kind of like, you know, you don't expect to see that many fish in such a shallow water. There's literally like only a few inches of water. And they're like really, really friendly. So next time I'm going to get a snorkel. I'm going to I'm gonna try to snorkel in, a, in an estuary to really get all the fish on camera. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press like and leave a comment because comments help. Even if you don't like the video, you can like write a nasty comment. That's still fun. Uh, anyway, uh, so enjoy the rest of the video. And uh, you know, if you ever feel like going to Florida, go to Florida. That's the place to be if you like tropical fish. Actually, it's the place to be if you like any kind of exotic animals or fish. We have everything here, anything you can think of. And if it's not native to Florida, it's probably invasive here. So, you know, if you want a Nile crocodile, a python, um, you can even catch a monkey here. They're invasive monkey. So, here you go. Florida.